Hi guys, welcome back. So, um, as you all know, I've been trying to diagnose what the issue is with my car, why it's not starting, uh, because it did start when I first like put everything back together and then it just wouldn't start after that. So, um, after talking to two of my mechanics, having somebody come out, check it out, um, we came to the conclusion that it was the baffles that had sand in them. I didn't know I was supposed to take them off and clean my engine like underneath there before putting it back. Um, so sand ended up getting into the engine and it's pretty much like toast. Now in order for me to rebuild my engine, like I might as well just get a new engine. So I ended up looking and I found an engine. It's in NorCal. So tomorrow I'm gonna be doing a trip up there with one of my friends so I don't have to go alone. And um, yeah, we're gonna be getting up like super early, leaving at like 7 a.m. And then should be back here hopefully by 7 p.m. It's gonna be a 10 hour drive, not including the time of like checking the engine, doing the compression test and like loading it and everything. So, and then obviously like rest stops. So it's gonna be a while. I've never driven 10 hours like straight. So I don't know how that's gonna work out, but at least I'm not going alone and I'm getting a new engine. So I'm super excited because at least my car is gonna run soon. Yay. Okay, so this is what the engine bay currently looks like. I've started taking things apart um, because I am going to be painting the engine bay since the engine's coming out. Um, and then just blacking out some things, getting some other things powder coated, polishing other parts. I want to get braided hoses. Um, and then, you know, just even though the engine looked pretty, I was almost done. I figured if I'm taking the engine out, I might as well just replace everything and go all out right away. So I don't have to go and do this later on. Hey guys, good morning. So right now, um, we are on our way to pick up my engine we're about 220 miles away we're right now in bakersfield justin is washing <laughs> the windshield on my car <laughs> because it's freaking dirty i almost crashed <laughs> i'm just kidding i didn't um but yeah so 220 miles to go should be there around uh 12 30 ish um going to do a live compression test i will be recording that loading up the engine and then driving another 320 miles back home so yeah we'll uh we'll resume again once we arrive at the shop to pick up the engine yay all right guys so we are here there is some infinities over there and an s14 we'll go look at them in a bit um but yeah let's go look at my engine so many And then there's the S14 over there that we could barely get to. I don't want to be going through these tires and then get cut. Damn. Alright guys, so we got the engine, slowed it up. 
it runs and everything. We did the test, as you can see in the video. So now we're gonna head home. We are 336 miles away. We're gonna grab food, and then we'll be on our way. Hi, Justin. <laughs> All right, guys. So, engine is home, unloaded, and I actually started taking it apart. Um, I did forget to record for some reason it's like i was so excited like to just start working on it that i like completely just flew by so anyways um i'll show you guys in a second what it looks like but um i took it apart because i am getting some parts that are gonna get powder coated and some extra ones that i didn't before um but i did notice on my old engine when i put it back with the powder coated parts there was some parts that like looked really bad because they didn't get powder coated since the engine wasn't out so i'm taking advantage that this one's out and powder coat them from the beginning so these are the parts that look really bad well you could see the fuel rail right there like it just like sticks out so i'm gonna get that uh powder coated in chrome and then this doesn't matter because this is gonna have a heat shield so you only see um the powder coated parts or polished parts and in this part here, I'm also getting this powder coated um, in a chrome color. And then the rest is pretty much going to be blacked out. So this is what the current engine that I just bought looked like. I pretty much tore everything apart. Um, and then once this one comes out, the old one, I'm going to be transferring parts from that one to this one and just like you know putting everything back together and then throwing it in the car but yeah this is what it looks like it looks tiny now <laughs> compared to like how it was when I first got it but not bad we're almost there hopefully all right, so now that this engine is pretty much torn apart, the next step is going to be uh, powder coating some stuff and then putting it back together. And then we will be taking out the old engine, putting the new engine in, and that should be it. My car should be good to go. So um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe at the bottom, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye-bye.